Well, food insecurity continues to be a very big concern in many Buffalo communities, but one resident is taking it upon herself to combat the issue, starting her own mobile food drive. It is called Candace's Mobile Food Pantry, and she travels all around Buffalo delivering donated items. Channel 2's Keelan Berrien has the story. Monday through Friday, La Candace Durham types away at her desk resolving complaints in Buffalo's 311 system. But on the weekends, we have um, brand new shoes. She's on the sidewalks Mobile giving groceries pantry. to Riverside residents. How you doing? There is a need in the Riverside community. We are the second lowest poor zip code in the city of Buffalo. Right now, there's no grocery stores in Riverside. That's why she started Candace Mobile Pantry. It's her way to combat food insecurity in the city. So we had to save a lot. It was on Ontario. It closed down about three years ago. So only stores that were available were Dollar Generals and Family Dollars. It's this Dollar General on Tondawanda Street she's talking about. It closed after being looted during the blizzard. A big sign hangs in the window promising its comeback. However, people still pulled the door handles today hoping to shop. Instead, residents are forced to go to the nearest market about two miles away. So the people that did this uh, back in December really harmed and hurt a lot of just vulnerable people in my district, and I find it repulsive. Durham shares that outrage. It's why she takes to the streets every Saturday. In fact, she started her mobile pantry just before the Tots massacre. We are out there on the corner of Chattuck, Ontario. Um, just a beautiful sunny day, just blessing the neighbors. Two hours later, we get the call that there was a shooting at Tops. I was born and raised on the east side of Buffalo. That's always gonna, that's always gonna be a part of me. And part of the reason Durham plans to be back on the streets this weekend. Near Military and Hurdle, near the Jasper Parish Housing. She always accepts donations, but if you need something for yourself. Everything is free. Now, there are not any estimates for when the Dollar General will open back up, but when I talked to the building's owner from Ellicott Development, I was told they will reopen, and they're in the process of remodeling. He said it was heavily damaged, but they're hoping to be open by spring or summer, but it isn't guaranteed. In the studio, Keelan Berrien, Channel 2 News.